two quick last questions I want to open up. You mentioned Iran twice. Uh, lots of reports about an informal arrangement out there being discussed, putting some lid on Iranian nuclear capabilities in exchange for some degree of sanctions adjustment. What can you say about that? What I can say is this. We, we believe from day one uh, two things. We have a commitment that President Biden strongly adheres to, which is that Iran will not acquire a nuclear weapon. We also believe diplomacy is the most effective way to actually get that result, uh, the uh, uh, most sustainable uh, and the most, uh, most effective. So we pursued that path. We tried to see if we could get back to mutual compliance with the uh, Iran nuclear agreement, the so-called JCPOA. Uh, and we made a very good faith effort working closely with uh, our European partners and actually, in this instance, working with uh, China and Russia. Uh, and at the point at which that looked, uh, looked possible, uh, Iran either couldn't or wouldn't do what was necessary to get back into compliance. Uh, and that goes back uh, now many, many months. So there is no agreement in the offing, uh, even as we're, we continue to be willing to explore diplomatic paths. Um, and at the same time, we've been building up our, uh, our deterrence, uh, and uh, we have been um, working closely with uh, partners in the region uh, to uh, do just that, as well as continuing to take uh, a whole variety of measures to push back against Iranian misbehavior in different areas. But there's no, uh, there's no agreement in the offing. Um, I think uh, whether Iran chooses itself to take actions, or maybe better put, not to take actions that further escalate the, um, the tensions not only between us but with other countries, uh, we'll see by their, by their actions.